Late one evening, the three of us were hanging out when Alex said he wanted to go up to the pee pack to check out a house for sale. Once in the car, Alex said it was an old, rundown Italian mansion with 26 fireplaces that used to be owned by the nuns that had been, that had been abandoned. It sat 50 acres of property, including beautifully terraced grounds. By this time, I was feeling a little nervous about the whole thing. It was a funny time of night to be checking out houses, and I was convinced Alec was more interested in adventure than in real estate. We pulled off the road and parked the car near a wooded area at the back of the property. The mansion itself was at the top of the hill, still quite a distance away. Of course, it was a clearly dark night, and the roadside was pitch black with no street lamps. I shivered. I followed Alec and Steve into the woods. It was fairly long and a spooky walk. Finally, we came out an overgrown lawn looking up towards several races that are stretched up and up. I never see followed Alec and Steve up the stairs to the first and the second terrace. The mansion loomed at tall and ominous in the dark and the wind shook the treetops and went through the overgrown shrubbery. When we reached the top terrace, Alec and Steve moved toward the back doors of the mansion and determined to find a way inside. I hung back. There was no way I was going any closer to that creepy monstrosity. I advanced up at the third story. There, the dorms windows appeared gaped like dark eyes. I trembled. Suddenly, a ball of light appeared in the window. I blinked in surprise. I was sure Alec had said the house was abandoned. The light seemed to float and before my astonished gaze ex expanded and formed into a glowing feminine figure. I gasped in shock, my heart pounding so hard on my chest that I thought it would explode. I tore my gaze away from the window, calling out to Alec. Alec, I whispered urgent, urgently, let's get out of here. Something in my tone penetrated his thick head and he and Steve walked over to where I was staying. As soon as they reached me, I took off at a pace the best Olympic athlete would have had trouble matching. I had the engine running and the car turned around at the time Alec and Steve made it back to the road. They leapt inside and took, uh, I took off. You said that the mansion was abandoned, I said accusingly. It was, it is, said Alec. Except for the killer nuns, Steve added from the back seat. I shrieked. Killer nuns? Sure, Steve said. I, I leaned lean forward between the two front seats and glancing to me to Alec. Didn't Alec tell you about the crazy mother superior who became a pagan and tortured and killed her fellow sisters when they refused to join her evil practices? She chopped them up and scattered pe the pieces of their bodies throughout the mansion. There was blood everywhere when the police came to investigate. The murder superior goes to supposed to haunt the terraces at the back of the house. They say she tries to lead you into the mansion in order to torture and kill you. Shivering, I dropped off the boys and went home. For the rest of the night, my dreams were filling the, with the glowing figure of a homicidal nun who chased me down the endless terraces of an Italian mansion holding an axe. <laughs> Thank you.